What's up dudes? We are back with the Bristol City career mode and first kicking things off I've been doing a bit of research on some players we should get. You know the scouts have been shit uh, and after looking at my shortlist and finding out that Lee Griffiths was going to cost about 4.5 million I decided we need to start looking at some younger players. So main positions we need that are key for me are goalkeeper, right midfielder and I believe a centre midfielder. I'm starting to think we could do with a creative centre midfielder. And I have found a boss of a centre midfielder. But before we get to him, Justin Bidgelow, 18 years old, Feyenoord. I've got scouts out in dirt, 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 dirt in the Netherlands. So we can look at him. He's about six foot two. So we're looking keenly at him as a young 18 year old to come in and start slowly overtake fielding in the goalkeeping position. Alex Kiwomia. Kiwomia. Right midfielder, very pacey. Um, look at this, acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance. That's a good thing. That's what we need on that right wing. We don't have an out and out winger. And this guy looks like he's going to be it. Look, he's got dribbling, uh, five foot ten, uh, can play cam. He's English. We like English. His contract's expiring in 12 months. That's brilliant for us. He's down there at Crew Alexandra, so he's a real good buy to possibly get on that right midfield. So I'm going to keenly look at him. Uh, it'll take about 12 days to scout him, I believe. So you've got to stick with me. Here he is, lads. Zan Benedict Kick. Benedict Kick. Kick. Benedict. We're, we're going to call him Benny. Um, but Zan Benny, 20 years old. Uh, and if we have a look at some of his stuff, he has got ball control and short pass. We need a creator in that midfield. And this guy looks perfect for it. 20 years old, 6 foot 1. He's actually from Slovenia. Don't know what he's doing here. Left footed. Long shot taker trait. That's, I love that from a centre midfielder. Don't you? Just have a midfielder that can just run up, play the ball about, and then if he can, bang one in into the top bin from far out. His contract is expiring in 12 months. And he's at fucking Leighton Orient. What is he doing there? 20 years old. He's got great potential apparently. So we're going to look at him. Zan Benedikic. So that's two. Alex Wanyuma and Benedik. Young lads. Great potential. At shit clubs. Sorry for any fans of those clubs. Um, but Bristol are better, okay? We've still got Ruslan, you know, you know about him from last episode. He's looking pretty decent, to be honest. I imagine he'll take a hefty fee. I'm hoping these lads, their fee, because their contract's over in a year, their fee won't be so high. Zach Clough. He's got all the speed and acceleration, agility, and balance, and everything. Uh, he's got finishing dribbling, so he'd be a great um, cam to have to get some extra goals for the team. Can also play striker. Oh my god, look at this guy. Michel van Bergen. Because of those scouts out in Netherlands, you always have young, amazing players in the Netherlands. And look at him. He's 16. What is he doing? Look at some of his stats. He's got acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance. He's 5'10", 123 pounds, which is baby weight. But he's 16, so we'll let him put on some pounds. In four, He's got four years of growth before he's even 20. What is that? This is the striker I want to look at. Connor Chaplin from Portsmouth. All the acceleration, sprint speed and everything you want. And he's even got jumping on there as well. He's got finishing. And if you've got a pacey striker with finishing, you're in the jackpot because that's what we want. Five foot six, definitely small, pacey. Can play cam if we need him to, left footed. But our main targets, going back to them, are Alex Kiwomia, Zach Benedict, did it kick kick? Michel van Bergen and Mr. Connor Chaplin. This is why we must win this tournament, lads. We are currently top. We are joined with Ferrara. And that is the game we've got now. So we need to draw or win this to maintain our top position and get the easiest semi-final we can possibly get. Well, let's go. Uh, I'm going to give O'Donnell a chance in goal. I think he deserves a little to show me what he can do. Also going to give Little a chance at right back. Ah, fuck off, ref. What? That's a booking. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. This ref's a maniac. That is not a booking. No reaction from Sir Zootman. Oh, yes. We've had a reaction from him. A slight hand raised in the air. Looks left to Brian. Brian gives it back inside. This is a good ball. Freeman. Header. Tomlin scores. Great goal. Great play from Bristol City. 
tearing open the hole in the middle. And Tomlin is there, the number 10. Whips the ball in, diving header over the top of the goalkeeper, 1-0. Brian down this left side again, linking up with Freeman. They've worked it well again. Brian inside, Tammy Abraham. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, they're on the attack now. They're making things happen. Shot goes in and it's a goal. I felt that the goalie should have had it on the first look. Let's see if he should be getting down. Ah, it's, it's into the corner. Yes, lads. The draw will do for us. We held on. They pressed us a lot at the end. But the draw will take us through on top. It's okay, Flint. Don't worry. Right. I feel Brian's a good player. I'm just going to take Brian off. I just want to get Tammy Abraham's dribbling up a little bit. If we can uh, make him so that he's got a little bit more about him on the ball, I think he'll be a deathly threat. All right. Tommy Abraham gets a D. Engval gets a B. Nice stuff. Right, here we are. Semi-finals. Bristol City against SK Bran. Team's getting a little bit tired. You know, these tournaments, they're rough stuff. Felt I needed a bit more from the right side. So I'm going to give Ododa a chance. Odo. Odauda. I don't know how to say his name, lads. Brian and Freeman working together again. Oh, Freeman finds a way round. That is beautiful stuff. This is beautiful stuff from Freeman. Can he shoot? He can. Save from the goalkeeper. Ball gets whipped in. Header from Tomlin. Off the bar. Smith. To Tomlin. Finds Tammy Abraham. Can he get his first goal? Penalty ref. Penalty. Ah! Twins are be there. Cutting out the pass. Tomlin. Going on a little run. Still Tomlin. This is a great run from Tomlin. Oh, Tammy Abraham needs to get in the box more. Tomlin's won it back. It's into the box. Odauda. Wide. Smith. Oh, Abraham. Nice back heel. Tomlin. To Freeman. Can he find Abraham? Abraham heads it. Oh, save from the goalkeeper. It's still in there. O'Neill's going to run onto the end of it. Cleared. Freeman. Bit of a dodgy pass. Tomlin. Look at Tammy Abraham. Can he score? Oh, Tammy. No. For saying he's the cover star of this series. He is struggling. Here we go. Counter attack is on. Ododa is quite tired. He's quite tired. He needs support. Engvall gives it off. Ododa can't finish. No, it wasn't Ododa. I don't know who it was. Something. That's well won, Reed. O'Neill. Up to Engvall. Gives it off. Freeman. Early one in. Header! Oh no, he scores! I will never pronounce his name right, but he has backed the header that he should have done a while ago. Oh, what a header. What a diving header that is. Go on, lads, just keep the ball. Yes! Into the final of the European Championship Cup, whatever it's called. What a performance that was. We dominated the game, so many chances. We showed what kind of football we can play. And I just hope we take it into the championship. We got 1 million for that, lads. That is beautiful. That is beautiful money we have just earned. Lovely stuff. Right, lads. We've got a final scout report on uh, Gulam Hubert, who is one of the goalkeeping options I'm looking at. And he doesn't look too bad at all. 71 handling, 70 reflexes, 70 diving, 70 kicking, 66 positioning. And uh, what I like about him is he's 6 foot 6. His contract's expiring in 12 months, so that is a potential option for a goalkeeper. I just want to see what the other one, the young lad, Bigelow, comes out at. Zan Benedict, here he is. So, we don't have um, his full stats yet, but looking at him, um, he's got the kind of stats we want to get up. He's valued at £1 million, and that is a great price for us. That is great stuff, uh, and I'm going to see if I can try and bag this lad. For a decent price. His contract expires in 12 months. A bang in the middle. 600,000. We've got 10 million transfer budget. So that's decent. I can actually get some of the players maybe. That I'm looking at. This is this is good stuff. 10 million. We've got some decent money now. And we spend it carefully. Like we do here on a few youngsters. We'll be alright. 63 rated. 16 year old. 92 acceleration. 83 sprint speed. 84 agility. Dribbling 66, ball control 66. There's a little bit to be desired in his stats, but he will fly up at 16 years old, showing great potential. Uh, so we're going to go in and make a bid for this guy, right winger. 490,000, I'll give them for him. Let's see what they say to that. 
Uh, after realising the budget's not actually too bad, we're actually doing alright for money. Uh, I'm actually going to slot in a bid for this guy. I'm going to offer them 820,000 for him. And see what he says to that. Right lads, we have to f put the transfers behind us now. We're looking good on the transfer front because of the success in this cup. Now if we can win this, it will lift the morale of everybody. We'll get some extra transfer funds and really bolster the squad. Uh, what I'll do is, what are we in? We're on the 17th of July. It takes about 12 days to scout a lad. So if we win this and we get some extra funds, I will look at bringing in a real star signing. You know, I'll look across the pitch, see where we could do with a real star target. And get another player in there. Go on, Freeman. Release Tammy. Go, Tammy. Oh, Tammy's got a bit of pace about him. Tammy pulls it back. Tomlin finishes it. It's a goal. Assist for Tammy Abraham. That'll make him feel better. And Tomlin gets on the score sheet yet again. Tomlin finds Tammy. Come on now, Tammy. Hit her belter. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is great football. Whoa. Peterson. Peterson goes round him. Get it back, Peterson. O'Neill hits it. Save. In the box. Brian. Brian. Oh, no. Peterson's going to hit this one. Go on, Peterson. Oh. Peterson. Hold him off. Find Smith. Inside to Engvall. Gets it round to Peterson. Peterson shimmy shakes. Inside. Reed Con finish his dinner. It's whipped in. Flint heads it off the line. Back inside to Smith. Engvall gives it to a penalty. Surely it is. Someone flipped Engvall. German suplex and he's on his back. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. I'm not great at these. Here goes Patterson. Steps up to take it. Oh, rolls it in. It's not really a corner. But it's 2-0. Reed finds Engval. Go on, Engval. Back inside. Reed. He scores this time. It's three. And we're in Wonderland. Engval's been fantastic. Really worked hard for the team. Slots this one across goal. Oh, what a finish. Yes. Champions of Europe. <laughs> We've won the pre-season International Cup. There's Sir Zootman with his coat on. Bit cold today. Claps the fans. The fans must be loving him now, surely. Training session. Let's see what we're at. Adoda gets 70 dribbling. That's nice. His dribbling's good. Let's have a look at our prize money then. We have got an additional transfer budget of 1.4 million. Thank you, everybody. That is lovely. Lovely. Jubbly. Right, the final scout report on Justin Bidgelow is 63. And although I love the guy, I love the look of him, I need a goalkeeper that's going to be good now. Right, Leighton Orient is, is recently moved to this team. How has he recently moved? They're, they're being a bit bitchy, these lads. They're claiming he's recently moved. I don't know what kind of bullshit that is. But we'll up our offer to 800,000. You know, that's above what we should be paying for him. Uh, Hubert... They believe he's worth more than that, so they want a bit more dollar. We'll go 970,000. That's a very good offer. Uh, we've offered too low for the young Michel van Bergen as well, so we're going to have to up the offer for him. You know, it's better than offering too much, I guess. I'll offer them 600,000. I think that's a good offer. It's 50,000 extra than what he is. He's Spradic first team player. You know, young 16 year old. I want him in my team. Leighton Orient, I've rejected my offer again. We can't accept your terms because the player's recently moved to this team. He's not recently moved. Bullshit. Give me him. Oh. Is that, so now you tell me, after all of this, putting in bids for him, now you tell me he won't move. He's only got a year left. All right. We're just going to have to keep him in mind because they're being dicks. We'll go. We're going to go for Connor Chaplin because we need a kind of pacey striker. I'm going to go 690,000 for him. Give me the player. People, stop rejecting me. Oh, we've accepted an offer from another team. Fuck me. Terrible things are happening on the transfer market. 1.5 million from Leeds. Oh, you dicks, Leeds. You dicks. How dare you? We'll go 1550. God damn it. Yes. 
Finally, someone's accepted, and it's the 16-year-old Mitchell Van Bergen. You know what? We'll we'll round him up to 1,500 just to make sure he's happy. Oh, look at that! We'll give him 1,500 and a fiver. You know, so he can get some chips at the end of the week. End of the week. Oh God! Portsmouth want 950,000 for Connor Chaplin. That is a hefty price. I will go 890,000 for him. All right, guys, gonna end the episode here. Hopefully, we secure more of these signings. The clubs are being bitches to me right now, and it's making things difficult. Um, I've got a few young players in there, and I reckon we'll still have about eight to nine million left. Obviously, we don't want to blow that whole thing, but I will be looking at trying to sign a bigger player. I may even look at getting that Ukrainian lad that I thought looked decent, nice cam. Yeah, we could do with a few star players across the board. Uh, I think a defensive midfielder is needed. But if you enjoyed this episode, please drop it a like. Subscribe for more FIFA 17 content and career modes. I'm Superman. Hope you guys have a great day.